Dallas and Miami. I wake up with no jammies. Let's get tail for dinner. Julio served this salmon. You got it if you want it. You got it if you want it. Said you got it if you want it. Take my wallet if you want it. Now jump in the Cadillac. Girl, let's put some miles on it. Anything you want just to put a smile on it. You deserve it, baby. You deserve it all. And I'm gonna give it to you. G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in today's lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. Now musically, this is quite a complex song. Bruno Mars has pulled out all the stops here and none of the chords are really quite standard. If you've checked out the chords on Ultimate Guitar, then it is just a massive mess. It's quite hard to comprehend everything and there's a lot of unusual chords. But in this video, I'll break it down in the simplest way possible. And although it's not absolutely 100% accurate to what's in the actual song, it's very, very close. It's also the way I actually play it live when I do cover gigs around in Melbourne. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So for the basics of the song, you'll just need a guitar and standard tuning, and you won't need a capo. So let's start with the intro, and we're going to start with a chord called a B flat minor slash E flat. It's a really long name, but it's not that hard to play. So to play this chord, you'll just need to bar your index finger all along the sixth fret from the fifth string onwards. Now this sixth string doesn't need to be played. It just needs to be muted. And your ring finger will be on the eighth fret of the fourth string. So that's our B flat minor slash E flat. And for the intro, we're just gonna strum this four times. After you strum it, you just wanna mute the strings so that there's a boppy feel to it. So the intro will just sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now we get to the verse, and the verse can be broken down to a simple four chord chord progression. Our first chord shape is this B flat minor slash E flat that we had in the intro. Now our second chord shape is called a B flat minor slash A flat. Imagine you're playing an A minor chord shape, but you move that shape up one fret. So we're playing the 3rd fret of the 4th and 3rd strings and the 2nd fret of the 2nd string. Now we'll need to add one thing to this. Our pinky finger needs to go on the 4th fret of the 6th string. You only want to be playing the strings that you're pushing down on the fretboard. So the 5th string needs to be muted and you can also mute the 1st string as well. So that's our 2nd chord shape. Now that's a B flat minor slash A flat. Our third chord shape might be more familiar. It's an F minor seven. So it's a minor seven bar chord on the fifth string. So you'll bar your index finger along the eighth fret from the fifth string onwards. And then your ring finger will go on the 10th fret of the fourth string and your middle finger will go on the ninth fret of the second string. That's our third chord shape, F minor seven. And then our final chord shape is called an A flat slash B flat. Now to play this, ring finger will go on the sixth fret of the sixth string. Your pinky will skip a string and go to the sixth fret of the fourth string. Then your middle finger will go on the fifth fret of the third string. And then your index finger will go on the fourth fret of the second string. Again, the notes that should ring out are only the ones that we're pushing down. So this fifth string should be muted and the first string should be muted. So that's our A flat slash B flat. And that's our four chord chord progression for the verse. B flat minor slash E flat. B flat minor slash A flat. F minor seven. And then A flat slash B flat. Now up here in the annotations, I have the strumming pattern that we're gonna use for this verse. Now we're gonna have a count that's gonna go one and two and three and four and. Now you wanna do a down strum on the one beat and the end beat after the two. And there'll be mutes on the two beat and the four beat and then after the four beat. Now what I mean by mutes is that you'll just lift your fingers up off the fretboard and when you strum down or when you strum up, it will just make a muted sound. Similar to the intro, after you've played a chord, you just wanna quickly stab it and mute it. Don't let it ring out. So I'll use the first chord as an example here, and it should sound like this. One and two and three and four and. 
Those last two mutes on the end are optional, but they should be played with a down up. Now you're going to play that strumming pattern once for each chord in this verse, and all together it will sound like this. And two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... And you just keep repeating that over and over for the verse. Now we get to the pre-chorus, just before we lead into the chorus, and it's almost identical to the verse chord progression that we've just played. Now we're going to play the first three chords exactly like we have in the verse. So chord one, chord two, and chord three will just be played for one strumming pattern. And then we have a pre-chorus riff, which is really easy. We just have three chord shapes. Our first one is a power chord on the sixth fret and the eighth fret, otherwise known as a B flat five. We're going to strum that once and then move that shape down two frets, so fourth fret and sixth fret, strum that once. And our final chord shape is a variation of an F minor 7. So we're going to have our ring finger here on the eighth fret of the fifth string, index finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string, and our pinky finger on the eighth fret of the third string. We're only going to be strumming these three strings and you're going to strum this twice with just a quick down down and then you'll quickly mute after that. So the pre-chorus riff just sounds like this. And in total, that pre-chorus, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... So now we get to the chorus. And thankfully, in the chorus, we have the same chord progression that we had in the verse. We're just going to mix up the strumming patterns here in the chorus. So for the first part of the chorus, we have a strumming pattern that goes like this. We're just going to be strumming on the one beat, and we're going to hold this out. We're not going to stab it this time. We're going to hold it out, and then we're going to hit a mute on the two beat, and then we're going to strum and hold the chord out again on the end beat after the two. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and... And you're just going to play that for each chord. And that's the first part of the chorus, which should sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Now for the second line of the chorus, we're going to change up the strumming pattern here. And also you'll note that our last chord is no longer and A flat slash B flat, it will be another type of riff, similar to what we had in the pre-chorus. So for our second part of the chorus, our strumming pattern will go like this. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up. And of course the slap is more or less a down strum, but with just all the strings muted. So you're gonna play that once for the first three chords in the second line, which will sound like this. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up, down, up, slap, down, 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 up, down, up, slap, down, 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 up. And then for our riff at the end of this chorus, it's going to be almost identical to the pre-chorus riff, except we're adding in one extra chord. So we start with this power chord on the 6th fret and 8th fret, our B flat 5 chord. You strum that once, then move down 2 frets with the exact same shape, strum that once, move down another 2 frets with the exact same shape, Strum that once. And then we go to our F minor seven chord shape that looks like this. And we're gonna strum that twice. So that riff at the end will sound like this. And in total, this is what the chorus sounds like. One and two and three and four. Now we get to our bridge, and for our bridge, we're going to be using one strumming pattern throughout. Now that strumming pattern we've already learnt, and it's the strumming pattern that's used in the second line of the chorus. That goes down, up slap, down, 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 up. 
So this strumming pattern is going to be used for the first three lines of this bridge. Now each set of brackets will represent one strumming pattern. So for our first line here, you'll notice that there's an F minor seven and an A flat slash B flat within one set of brackets. That means that those two chords are within one strumming pattern. So we start with our B flat minor slash E flat, down, up slap, down, 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 down. Then when we go F minor seven to A flat slash B flat, we're gonna change chords on the down strum after the slap. So it'll sound like this. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up. And the first line in total. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up. Now when we get to the second line of chords, our first chord in this line is the same. Our B flat minor slash E flat. For this next set of brackets though, there's now three chords within one strumming pattern. So we have F minor seven, then we have A flat, and then D flat. Now up here in the annotations, you'll see exactly where you need to change the chords within that one strumming pattern. And it'll sound like this. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up. Then for our third line of chords, we start with the G flat major bar chord. So this is a major bar chord on the second fret of the sixth string here, otherwise known as F sharp major. And then we have that exact same chord shape down one fret, so an F major chord shape. And that's within one set of brackets. You're gonna change chords on that down strum after the slap. So down, up, slap, down, 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 down. Up. And then for our next set of brackets, we have our F, and then we go up to a B flat minor bar chord. The point at which you're changing chords is exactly the same. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up. For this final line, we go to our B flat minor slash E flat chord shape, chord shape one. And we're gonna be playing this for a verse strumming pattern that goes one and two and three and four and, and then we're gonna play that pre-chorus riff, which goes So that fourth line in this bridge changes things up a little bit in terms of strumming pattern and structure. Now that might be a lot to take in, but just make sure you follow the annotations and you'll get it. So in total, the bridge should sound like this. Down, up, slap, down, 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 up, down, up, slap, down. And then we get into the final chorus, which is the same as all the other choruses, with one exception. The riff at the end of the chorus is shortened. We're playing the riff in the pre-choruses, not the riff that we usually play in the choruses. So at the end of the song, it'll just sound like this. So now I'm gonna be playing through the whole song in its entirety. I'm gonna have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks guys, hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it means so much. Hit that little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on the updates. Make sure you leave your thoughts, comments, questions and requests below. I read absolutely every single one of them. And I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.